Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and I'm going to show you how to add a zoom button to your Excel charts. This is done using a macro and this workbook that contains the macro is available for free download at excelcampus.com. In this video I'm going to explain how the macro works and then I will show you how to implement it in your own workbook. And don't worry if you don't have any experience with macros or VBA. The implementation is really just a matter of copying and pasting the buttons and the code into your workbook. You don't necessarily have to know any coding, but this may be a good opportunity to learn. I will also give some tips for working with shapes in Excel. So how does the macro work? The Zoom on Charts macros basically allows you to add a button to your chart, and the size of the chart is either enlarged or reduced when you click the button. It's pretty simple. The change in size is exactly the same as if you were to drag the corner of the chart to make it larger or smaller. The zoom button itself is actually just a shape created in Excel and the shape contains uh, text, either a plus or a minus. You could also change that text uh, to words to say something like zoom in or zoom out and then change the reference in the macro as well. The amount of zoom is based on a percentage uh, that you can either enter and reference in the worksheet uh, or you could uh, hard code this into the macro itself so the user would not be able to change the size of the zoom. This zoom on charts feature is great if you have a dashboard with a lot of small panel charts that are, might be difficult to read or if you have a report with a sparkline type charts and you want to quickly expand them to see the trends better. So how do we implement this? I'm going to use this sales dashboard workbook as an example to show you how to implement the macro in your own workbook. We are basically going to add zoom buttons to these charts. There are eight steps I've outlined to implement this in your own workbook. But don't worry, most of them are pretty quick once you understand what is required. First step is to open your workbook and also open the Zoom on Charts workbook that contains the macro. Once you have both those open, you need to open the VBA editor. The easiest way to do this is to press Alt F11 on the keyboard. Hold down the Alt key and then press the F11 key. That will bring up the VBA editor. Once this is open, you will see um, a list. On the left side, you should see the project window with a list of the open workbooks on your computer. You will see that the Zoom on Excel Charts workbook contains uh, modules with the actual macro in this module here. We need to copy this, the code in this module to your workbook. Uh, the quickest and easiest way to do that is just to left click and hold down on the module itself and then drag it up into your workbook. Once your workbook's highlighted, let go and you will see the, the module inserted into your workbook. Now that you've inserted the module in your workbook, go back to your workbook and we're going to need to save it as a macro enabled workbook. So if you have Excel 2007 or later, you'll need to basically save this as a macro enabled workbook. So in order to do that, you just uh, select macro enabled workbook from the save as type in the save window and click save and you will notice also that the file extension is changed to .xlsm. Next, we're going to need to copy the Zoom button into the workbook. So again, go back to the Zoom on Charts workbook, and to do this, we need to select this shape by right-clicking it, and we actually need to right-click it twice. The first right-click will uh, typically edit the text in the shape, and if you right-click it again, uh, it will select the outside of the shape, which we can then copy. So right-click twice and click Copy. Now go back to your workbook and uh, paste the shape anywhere in the workbook. You can also use Control-C and Control-V to do this. Once the shape is in your workbook, we need to, or the button, I should say, once the button is in your workbook, we need to place it in the uh, top left corner of a chart. So um, for, in order for the macro to work, the button needs to intersect the chart in the top left corner or the cell um, that contains both of the top left corners of the button and the chart. So if you, you see if I could click cell C5 
behind the chart that both the button and the chart itself are intersecting cell C5 in their top left corners. This is important because we're basically just using one macro for multiple buttons in the workbook. And in order to do this, uh, we need to find where the button intersects the chart that it's on. And that's how the macro knows uh, which chart to make larger or smaller. Step six, um, we need to assign the button to the macro. So to do that, right click on the button and click assign macro. You might see a long list of macros here. You can narrow this down by selecting only the macros in this workbook in the drop down. And then you'll see the zoom chart macro and uh, double click that to uh, assign it. Now that the macro is assigned to the button, we need to do one more thing before we can use the button. Go into the VBA editor and double click the zoom charts macro module that is in your workbook. And we need to make one small change to the code here. If you scroll down, you'll see under the zoom amount section, uh, currently the zoom width and zoom height are uh, referencing ranges in the workbook. Uh, and this is used in the sample workbook where we have uh, cells that actually, where you can actually type in the width and height uh, to, make, to adjust the zoom amount on the chart. However, for this simple example, we're just going to enter values in here. So instead of referencing the range in the workbook. So uh, and I'm just going to replace this text with a number five and that will uh, tell the macro to increase the width of the chart 500%. And for the height, we'll use a value of three. So 300% increase in height. Now we can go back to the dashboard and try our button. So if we click on the button, we'll see that the chart increases by 500 and 300 percent respectively and we click the minus button and it'll zoom back out. Now that we have the zoom button working I'm going to show you how to copy it to other charts in your workbook. One trick for selecting the shape that has a macro assigned to it is to hold down the control key and left click the shape. This will actually select the outside of the shape instead of calling the macro that's assigned to it. Once the shape is selected, you can type Control D on your keyboard, D is in duplicate, to actually duplicate the shape. So now we have t two shapes and we can drag this shape over to the top left corner of the next chart. Again, we want to double check that both the shape and the chart are intersecting in um, the same cell and that's the top left corner um, of both of those look like they're intersecting in E5, so we should be good. Before we click the button to zoom in, we need to assign this shape a unique name. So again, I'm going to left, or I'm sorry, I'm going to hold down control and left click on the shape. And up here in the name box, you'll see this shape is named zoom button 2. So we need to change this to a unique name. I'll just call it zoom button 3 and click enter. Now that this zoom button has a unique name, we can click on it and the zoom macro will be called. Assigning the button a unique name is an important step. This allows the macro to know exactly which button is being called and which chart to zoom in on. Uh, without doing this step, the macro wouldn't know and you might get all charts zoomed in on at one time. This macro will likely be updated in the future with some more advanced features. So if you'd like to stay updated, please enter your email below the download link on excelcampus.com and I will keep you updated of any new features. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.